Welcome to the Suti Digital Suite High Level Overview. This video aims to present the Suti Digital Suite, a set of digital tools developed by XAPA to connect scalable capacity building programs across fragmented value chains. They broaden access to e-learning content and enable a global monitoring of the impact of such trainings against social, environmental, and economic performance targets. This ultimately helps industrial groups better understand their procurement map. This digital suite is a core component of the SUTI initiative, which you can learn more about on our website at www.xapa.org. XAPA created three sets of apps, one for each of the SUTI program stakeholders. The participant app for participants among uh, workers and smallholders, the SUTI operational management system for the operational program staff, and the reporting dashboard for program sponsors. The participant app is user-centric in that it delivers multiple capabilities at the palm of their hands. An e-learning module to access curated technical and vocational trainings adapted to their working and living conditions. A performance measurement module to collect data. Through regular surveys, we can assess the actual impact of the SUT program on their productivity, working and living conditions, as well as the environment. For select products, a procurement mapping module registers sales details as they occur between program participants and local buyers. The local dashboard, on the other hand, is designed for the program sponsors, industrial groups or coalitions. It allows them to monitor and track all aspects of the program, such as overall training progress amongst participants and social environmental impact, etc. It eventually allows industrial players to visualize their procurement map. Finally, let's look into the operational management system, which we often refer to as the back office app. It is used by our training delivery teams to manage all of the program's operational aspects on the ground. This includes enrolling participants, recording their performance data prior to the training, defining and managing routine surveys to collect participant data required for performance measurement, managing training cohorts and disseminating training contents, as well as in identifying and dealing with issues, etc. Let's now zoom in on our participant app. The participant app works as an offline mobile app. It is designed to be easily accessed by all, including vulnerable populations. This includes workers and smallholders, and more generally, all underserved low-revenue populations. First, the participant app runs on any device, not only the latest iPhone and Android-based smartphones, but also older and even obsolete OS versions and devices. This ensures no one is left behind despite today's endless technological race. Perhaps even more importantly, given the audience we target through our programs, the app runs on a good number of feature phones. These are basic devices limited to phone calling, texting, and internet browsing. Their popularity is indeed on the rise in many developing or emerging countries in Southeast Asia and Africa, mostly due to their competitive prices and easy use. Nevertheless, the participant app is not strictly a mobile-first app. Thanks to its responsive user interface, it can be executed on tablets and personal computers too. The participant app offers web surfing functionalities and only requires a modern internet browser to run. For a participant, accessing the app is therefore extremely simple. No need to have an app store account to download an app or even an email address. This is a definite plus for reaching out to digitally unsavvy users. The app can be used offline, another advantage for participants with unstable network coverage or constrained telecommunication budgets. The app can be installed locally on the device so that it may be easily found alongside other apps. Now that we've covered some of the most important characteristics of the app, let's take a closer look at its key features. As seen before, the participant app provides an e-learning module. This module can be used to disseminate capacity building curricula consisting of one or several training courses. Courses can be made available for participants to download via a self-service course catalog 
or provided on an invitation-only basis by SUTI training instructors. Once available, participants can follow courses in an autonomous, self-paced manner. This means all contents are available at once for them to download. Alternatively, chapter availability can be controlled by instructors via the back office system. This way, chapters are progressively shared with groups or participants, which we refer to as training cohorts. As we can see here, the logged in participant has several courses on his workspace. Let's now open the RICE course, which teaches participants about the best agricultural practices pertaining to rice cultivation. Courses consist of chapters. Here we can see some of them have been completed, those marked with a trophy, while others are still in progress, those with a gorge, and others have not yet been opened. Also, some chapters, such as the one on crop rotation and diversification, are grayed out. This is because the RICE course is an instructor paced course. In our example, the latter chapters have indeed yet to be made available to the cohort. The app user interface has a very slick, intuitive, and clutter-free design. This is important as the populations targeted by the SUTI programs may not be digitally savvy and some may use phones with very small screens. In addition, the app can vocalize any textual information to ensure the training is accessible to illiterate or visually impaired participants. As a result, the app improves the reach of the training program. Let's now open one chapter. Upon first access, the chapter's content is retrieved and stored locally in the participant's device. Subsequent access to the same chapter will use the content stored locally instead of downloading them from SUTI servers. No need for internet access to open a chapter. Chapters consist of several sections or subchapters which feature text which as said earlier can be vocalized via the app, as well as multimedia contents conducive to learning, pictures, graphics, sounds, videos, or downloadable documents. Sections can be accessed in sequence or at random. As sections are open, bookmarks appear and progress gauges are updated. The training process can be interrupted and resumed where the participant left off. Let's now move on to the other key features of the participant app. As seen earlier, the app also includes a performance measurement module. This can easily be located via the app's bottom navigation bar. This module collects data from participants through simple and short surveys. Questions and their frequency can be refined based on program needs. A typical survey will consist of 5 to 10 open or closed questions. The app offers various options. Closed questions with single answers from checklists or drop-down lists. Multiple choice questions or open questions allowing participants to input text or numeric values. As in other modules, the voiceover feature is available and ensures optimal accessibility. The survey also works offline so that survey responses may be automatically uploaded as soon as connectivity permits. Lastly, the app features a sales tracing module which allows participants to track sales transactions. In a few clicks, participants can indicate buyers involved the quality and quantity of products they sold and their selling price. This can be verified with the buyers themselves. And that's it for the Suti Participant app. It's only just the start. Xapa will soon be showcasing other modules and functionalities. Stay tuned and check the xapa.org website for more information.